Hello everybody, in this video I would like to show a demonstration of bringing an STL model into a slicer program for processing and creating a G-code file which can be used by a 3D printer for creating a physical model. Okay, let's start. Okay, what I've shown on screen um, is the process of um, getting a 3D model 3D printed. Okay, basically it entails the first portion of uh, creating the model using a 3D or CAD modeling program and then uh, exporting the 3D file as an STL or OBJ mesh which will be brought into a slicer program here is where we do the necessary work to prepare it for export as a G code that can be used to create the physical model via a 3D printer. So, in this uh, video, I'll be talking about uh, this segment of the work, which is uh, bringing an STL file into a slicer program to be churned out as a G code. Okay. Let's start. Okay, now uh, let's head over to a browser and go to repitia.com. Okay. So here is where we can download a free uh, slicer program. Okay. So I'm already here. So this is the front page. As I'm using a Windows um, operating system, I would like to download the Windows version. Okay, to do that, I click on here, and then I think we can skip the donation part and go to download without donation. Okay, and then you can click on here to start the downloading process. Okay, but I'm not going to do that because I've already um, downloaded and installed the program so uh, now uh, let's uh, fire up uh, Repetia okay this is how it looks like okay I think before we begin we might have to um, next configure it okay so um, just to show a generic uh, configuration process so if you want to configure you can go to the slicer and then uh, pick on your the slice, slicer uh, type okay so let's say I want to use the slicer uh, as our slicer okay so um, once you have selected the slicer you can go to the configuration okay and then um, here is where you have to load the config bundle okay so here's where you load the con config bundle so I'm going to load a config bundle that is a uh, specific to the 3d printer that I'm using so I click on this okay and then uh, load the bundle okay so this is it okay and click open okay it's loaded already so I think I can close this. Okay, so you can see that now uh, in the uh, setting sections, there are like new um, options. Uh, okay, so you can like decide uh, how, how you want to uh, set the print and so on and so forth. Okay, so something like that. Something like that. Okay, so yeah, those, these, there are various uh, options that you can use. Okay, so... Um, To start the process of generating the G-code, you have to load your STL model. So I'm going to click uh, load, okay, and then load the file. Okay, so this is my file, uh, which was uh, created in a 3D program called Blender. So I'm going to uh, load it in. Okay, so it's in ready. So uh, over here, you might have to you know, do your uh, own kind of uh, adjustments, uh, moving, uh, 
and so on and so forth okay so but i'm not going to dwell on that okay because uh that uh can be a entire topic on its own okay so um now let's uh, go to the slicer tab again so here is where you can like know uh, set all the necessary uh, configurations and settings okay so let's say if you want to enable support you can click on maybe here and click the enable support so enable support you will create additional supports that will be placed at the areas of the overhang okay so let me just uh, show you how you look like okay let's say uh, something like that you click on this and you can um, click the slice with slicer and then wait for the program to do its uh, calculation okay you can see now that the slicer has uh, done its work and have created a uh, lot of support over here. Okay, so um, we will not dwell into whether we should use support or not. Okay, so basically uh, for this uh, demo is just to show you um, some of the various options. Okay, so let's say you are done with uh, whatever you need to do and you decide that uh, you want to send for printing or save the G code you can click on the print if you have it uh, connected to a printer but in your case here I want to show the demo of saving to a G code okay so to save the G code you click uh, save to file okay and then it will generate a G code okay so you can rename it and then save it to your desired location okay so i'm going to click save yeah so uh, with that you're saved a g code which um can be brought to a 3d printing machine for use in creating a physical model okay and then with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful to you see you around bye